Hi there. This is a quick video to uh, introduce you to the new uh, platform that we're using for EDDL courses. Uh, this is Commons in a Box, which is a term you don't need to remember, but it's just the, the platform that we've adopted uh, going forward with these courses. It's based on WordPress, um, and within it you will have uh, something that is like your own blog, but it's called your portfolio space. Also within it, we're going to have discussion topics, so places where you can discuss things throughout the course, and portfolios um, or, and, and content areas for uh, the course content. So right now, I'm on the home page of eddl.tru.ca. And you'll notice I'm logged in, but if I wasn't, uh, here is a place where I could log in. And there's a lot of choices in the menu, but typically I have been going in by selecting courses and then selecting the course that I'm interested in. So this is the home page of the course. And from here you can move on to a number of different things. Um, first of all, this link right here takes you to the content. And so we come here and you'll see that we have a page for each week. We have an assignment overview. And each page also has some links that take us up or down uh, to specific spots. And I can return to the landing page here. The next thing that's important is uh, discussion areas. So I've created discussion topics for each week um, as well as an instructor messages topic and I believe you can create discussion topics as well if you wish. So when we have something within the course that's very specifically around discussing a question, this is where that discussion is going to take place. And um, I've been receiving emails of any new discussion entry and uh, I believe you're able to set that up as well. Let me know if you have any difficulty with that. So I'm just going to pop back to the course home. And then uh, the next thing that's really important here are portfolios. So in the course where it says um, make a blog post or create a something, in your portfolio is where um, you need to do that. And so for instance I can go uh, to uh, Malika's portfolio here and you'll see that there are a number of posts here already. I'm going to pop back. The portfolio is like a blog so that you're able to uh, comment typically on any post that's within that portfolio. And I'm just going to take you to the one for me here and just show you that there is also a back end, a dashboard to this portfolio that's identical to what you would see in a WordPress blog. And so some important things here, uh, first of all, you don't have to stick with the uh, appearance that it gave you when you first started here. You can change the theme just like any blog. So you can pick one of these themes to change the way that your uh, portfolio looks. And also important is that you can change some settings. And so if I come over here to settings and then in here I go to reading, there's an important setting here about whether or not other people can see your portfolio. So for this course it's important that the instructor and other students be able to see items in your portfolio. And so the top two cell, uh, options uh, offer the most visibility. So this one here is wide open and this one here is wide open but uh, you're not going to be indexed by Google. Next down the first one here visible only to registered users of this network that's a reasonable choice as well so only other students uh, and instructors in the EDDL uh, site are going to be able to see your portfolio. But if you go to anything any of these two, then that's going to limit it really just to you. 
and you're not going to be able to share portfolio items with anyone else. Once you've made your choice, select Save Changes. Another important thing to check on is the discussion settings. So you should have your uh, commenting set so that other people in the program can comment on your on posts in your portfolio. This is probably set up uh, to happen by default, um, but you can also set how much uh, you want to hold a comment for moderation and whether you want comments to go straight through. A very convenient setting is to allow comments to go straight through after you've approved that author once uh, so you don't get caught up with too many. Another important part here in the dashboard to remember is that you can also keep track of things like comments and go in and approve or uh, reject. So I don't think you're going to see any spam coming through here but that's something to uh, keep in mind. So I go back to visit site and then I'm going to take this one right here to go back to the home page. Then I can go back to courses. So this has been a really quick introduction to the um, EDDL platform that we're using this semester for EDDL 5141. Um, if you have any questions about it, please get back to me. It's important that everybody here have their portfolio created and shared with other people in the course, if not publicly. Um, that's, uh, we're going to need that to be able to progress with other things in the course. Anyway, thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.